Welcome to the DARPA Grand Challenge. The objective, create a self-navigating autonomous vehicle that can safely drive 132 miles through a harsh desert environment without human intervention. Yes, these are robot cars, and if you've ever wanted to see the future, take a good look, because it's right in front of you. The technology we see here will be used in the military within the next few years, and eventually, robots like these may be taking you to and from work. But it's not easy. 43 teams from around the country began with dreams of building a robot capable of conquering this course. Only 23 teams earned the right to run in the $2 million DARPA Grand Challenge Final. For qualifying teams, information about the event is held in tight secrecy until race day. It is only then that they will receive details about the course. At 4 a.m., just two hours before their scheduled run times, competitors are informed that the route will stretch 132 miles over rugged desert terrain. With that information now in hand, teams rush to program their vehicles to navigate the thousands of GPS waypoints they will need to pass to successfully complete this challenge. At dawn, an eager crowd of spectators take their place for a chance to witness automotive history in the making. At the pole, the heavy favorites take the line. Carnegie Mellon's red team will run first and third, separated by Stanley, the blue Volkswagen Touareg from the Stanford Racing Team. For these teams, two million dollars and a scientific legacy is at stake. Red Team Highlander gets a green light, and it's official. The DARPA Grand Challenge is underway. Ladies and gentlemen, Highlander. Yeah! After a quick bow to the crowd, Highlander smoothly turns the corner, accelerates, and heads toward the horizon. Five minutes later, it's Stanley's turn. Jumping off the line, a sudden left turn at the gate nearly ruins the day for Stanford. But Stanley makes the correction and heads out in hot pursuit of Highlander, traveling 30 miles an hour as it reaches the first dry lake bed. In another five minutes, Red Team Sandstorm leaves the blocks, once again demonstrating Carnegie Mellon's precision craftsmanship as it enters the desert. By the time the fourth robot, Team Axion Spirit, leaves the gate, history has already been made as Highlander crosses the eight mile mark, further than any vehicle traveled in the inaugural Grand Challenge. 20 more teams followed the big three out of the gate, all hoping to complete the 132 mile course in a winning time. Team Dad, with its rotating cluster of sensors, sped off the line, making up ground and passing Team Axion in the process. Team Ensco's buggy-style robot, Dexter, also left the line with a full head of steam, fiercely attacking the desert terrain. Cat 5, the Ford Escape hybrid from Louisiana's gray team, eased its way past the crowd, and Terramax, the 16-ton cargo hauler, left the gate determined to finish the course. <laughs> 